Yo, what's up guys? I'm coming back at you with another video today, and if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out some of my other videos. I have over 200 mocks here on YouTube, and also check out my Instagram, which is the same as my YouTube channel. I just upload mocks on the daily over there. It takes me a month or two to upload them here on YouTube. So go and check that out, because I build themes that LEGO builds, and themes that they won't build. So with that out of the way guys, we can get into our video today. I'm going to be showing off this mock. Now this is a mech for the Brickitect mock contest. So let me just show off some of the features of this mech. So let's just get right into it. You guys may notice that the helmet does look like a Halo helmet. So it was inspired by the video game Halo. So that's why it's got so much of the shaping there. I think it looks pretty good, turned out really well. And I went for a dark green visor. And then we also have some arms that position, so let's just unlock it out of place real quick. So it can bend in any position. It can hold weapons in his fingers. Now we'll just lock that back into position. That way it doesn't move anywhere. And then the feet also have a stabilizing mechanism. So if you spread the legs apart, they also stabilize automatically. I thought that was really nifty. And then we have some antennas on the arms here. And those are just to block any incoming missiles or jam any radars. So they are multi-purpose. So, if we take a look at the back side, it is pretty bland. So we'll work our way back there. I'm just giving you guys a brief look at what this mock looks like. I may do a tutorial in the future. I am a big fan of mechs. Like I said, the back is pretty plain. We're going to add some detail to that in the future. I'm going to add some weapons that he can have on his back. So that's what those studs are for. And then I have a plan for either ammo pack or something there. So we still have a little bit of work to do on this mock. I just want your guys' suggestion. I want you guys to tell me what I should do with this mock. Should it be like a military style mock or should it just be a regular mech? You guys let me know. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should add, let me know. I'm just trying to make this a basic mech so that you can add to it if you choose to. Let's get another look. All the legs can position very well. You can get a lot of different poses out of them. And then the fingers also position. So you can see that there. You can get a lot of poses and hold different style of weapons. So I want you guys to tell me what I should add to this mock. Let me know if it should be like a military style mock or if it should just stay like this. I really like the way it looks now, but there is room for improvement. So you guys let me know what you would like me to do to this mock. So I have a lot of mocks on the way. I have some muscle cars on the way. I have another Lamborghini on the way. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I've got some Star Wars mocks on the way. So we've got a lot of different variety of mocks coming. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Have a great day, guys. Peace out. I did forget to mention, this is for the Brickitect Mock Contest. I mentioned that earlier, but I just wanted to mention that at the end of the video. So this is for the Brickitect Mech Mock Contest. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out, guys.